hello everyone welcome back to bpo interview tutorials i hope you guys are doing really well uh and uh, enjoying the videos you have guys have cross checked the playlist as well so welcome back guys today we came up with an another concept of in the excel uh, which is most useful while creating the reports uh, getting the data for the analysis whenever you guys are working with any bpo project or any of the project so the today's topic is regarding to sort so what are the use of sort what is concept con uh, custom sort uh, and uh, we will also see certain examples on it uh, which will uh, surely help you in a reporting part and also in your task which is aligned to you in your job role uh, i would like to uh, suggest everyone please share subscribe the channel also click on bell icon and also guys check out the playlist you will find the videos related to six sigma certification excel tricks quality analyst team lead role kpis and many more videos are there so let's start today's concept that is on sorting so first of all you guys can see here there is a data employee id name tl name audit count and scores so first i will start doing the sorting so i'm giving you different different examples here first we will do alphabetical way sorting here okay i will change few names here i will add right adams I, i'll i'll just change like here uh benny and i will i will more add like uh, zin there are few few employees a team lead name i'm just changing and i want this detail like high to low so i will select this particular row if you have a multiple data like thousands of entries you just click on the j or any of the a uh, row which you want to sort so just click that particular row or uh, and uh, what you will do you will go to the home you will go to sort and filter you will click on a to z and it will say expand the selection continue with the current selection so always select this expand the selection reason i will tell you uh if you do this now uh it will also sort sort in the sense like suppose james have we have done 100 audits for james it will sort as per the details here so first i will show you two things here first a to z i am doing continue with the current so it will only sort the names of the team leads but you can see the data become incorrect now so if we see here like 101 id the person name is adam here which is incorrect and uh, the details went wrong so i will do control z i will select this again zero and i'll do a to z i will do expand with selection expand with selection what it will do it will sort with their values related values also see here 101 id yes 101 id 150 audits and 95.21 is the score 95.21 is the score this is the first way of doing the sorting so this is alphabetical sorting here okay let's move to the another example i'll delete this particular thing okay let's move to the another example uh, now i will sort with the help of numerical values okay so numerical values so i want to sort this course again i'll go to home i'll go to sort and filter i will do here largest to smallest if you want score from largest to smallest so see automatically these points got changed here if you are on the alphabetic it will give you a to z or z to a and if you are on the numbers uh, it will give you high to low or else smallest to largest largest to smallest so if you do largest to smallest and again i will select the expand this selection so that the relevant data of that particular score will also align according to their scores see here 109 is the employee id 109 is the employee id okay the person name is ro team lead name is ro the person name is j 188 is the audit count and 100% is the score you guys can see this right so the this is the sorting with the help of numbers here i hope you, this is very much clear for everyone and you got the clear understanding here i will delete this particular thing and i will move to the another uh, part of the sorting okay so till now we have learned uh, sorting uh, with the alphabeticals and sorting with the numbers okay you can also sort this uh, audit count here if you want to do again you will go to sort i will do here largest to smallest and i'll just done largest to smallest and uh, but make sure guys you will you will please uh, double check this particular pop up here 
don't select this continue with the current selection so this thing whenever we will do when we will do this thing whenever we require a specific data of that particular row or column at the time only we will do this rest we will not do any uh, selection of this continue with the current selection okay fine now uh, you can do this sorting in row also in a way of row and column in a both a way you guys can do this uh, now why now i will go with the custom sorting so here what i want is my custom sorting my, my my task is the task given by my manager is i want uh associate detail associate detail with their highest uh scores and highest audit count so this is the task given by my manager highest scores with the highest audit count so uh what i will do i will select the n the complete n I will go to sort I will do custom sort here and I will click on expand the selection same I will click on sort I will get a pop up here what is my first condition uh, that the score should be high to low yes high to low and I will add one more level and I want audit count should be high to low and I will do ok so so in this way we will get this particular details so I know you guys will be having a concern that uh, here the audit count is high uh, why it is not sorted as per that here we are giving priority to the scores i want highest the scores with the highest the audit count here guys okay so this is the details what i have received and i will give you an another example if i just do here sort with the high to low example see this is uh, not that similar guys what whatever data we are looking for okay so there will be some difference anyhow okay guys um again i'm changing this thing i'll go to sort custom sort okay now i'm changing here as i want oh uh, give me a minute it got selected a wrong row okay i will do custom sort and i want audit count high sorry small and i want um scores as high scores as high okay so here it has sorted in such a way wherein the audit count is low and scores are high so in this way uh, we will get our data guys here okay so this is the way of doing the custom sort guys i hope you guys got a clear understanding here about the custom sorts okay uh, so custom sorts you may get this concerns from your manager whenever there is a hundred of data thousands of data and they will ask you that uh, the people who have received the highest scores with the highest audit count so you need to sort so in this way you can do it guys so i i hope you guys got a clear understanding on the custom sort uh sorting with the help of alphabets sorting with the help of numbers uh, so this is all about this particular information i would just want to give you one more example here so i'm just keeping a pivot table here insert and pivot table and okay so what i'm doing is uh, i'm just pulling down the um employee name and their scores okay so uh, the scores are not in percentage i will select the entire row go to home click on percentage and give some decimals here now i want to sort this also in the pivot table in the pivot table also you can do directly sorting right click on any of the uh, cell of the scores any of the cell right click you would get an option here uh, sort you can do high to low so automatically it will get sorted as per your required data guys okay so in the pivot table also you guys can do directly a sorting in the pivot table sorting it will help you in your dashboards and all if you want to show dashboard from high to low scores and all you can do it uh, for an example this pivot table is linked with any of the graph example if it is linked with any of the graph and you want to present the details so see here suppose this is linked with this particular graph i am adding a data label here see you guys can see here okay so scores i don't want scores i will just go with the audit count here now this uh, audit count is not showing perfectly okay and this is again showing in a percentage way i will remove this percentage okay uh sorry uh, i will remove this percentage i'll keep this as a general number see this is not in a sort i will do right click i will do sort from largest to highest it will get sorted and automatically your graph will also get sorted from high to low so this is the main benefit of doing sorting uh, firstly in the pivot table so that your graph will look very perfectly in the dashboards and reports so 
I hope you guys have received a complete information on uh, sorting. If you still have any doubt, if you have any any concern, please share your comments and please don't don't miss to subscribe to the channel. Share with your office friends, uh, colleagues, everyone, guys. Please, uh, let them know that there is an ultimate channel which is providing all the information. The guys who are working for the quality analysts, the guys who are working for the team lead role, a trainer in any of the BPO company. The guys who got recently selected from the freshers and they required a good content so that they can present their data in a ultimate way in front of managers and they can uh, build up their career for the next role. Please, please uh, share with them uh, if, if any managers or higher level designated people are watching my videos. Please share with your colleagues and help them, support them so that they can uh, uh, give you a good insight, a good, uh, uh, a good data at the end. Uh, while working with your particular project thanks a lot guys thanks for watching have a great day